Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share about this season. This is a very dark season of the year. We know that, don't we? Knowing that Halloween is approaching, let's deal with our fears. Because usually where your fear is, is where your faith is. And fear can be used against you as a weapon. So I want you to think about that when you think about how fear can work against you. What you believe in the most is what you'll fear the most. I've heard stories of little boys that were beaten up and bullied. And one day the father said, if you don't beat them up, I'm going to beat you up. And they got so scared of Papa that they whoop some tail. Their fear, you hear what I'm saying? Their fear of one thing led them to another. However, if father threatens to beat them up, but their fear is strongest for their bullies, they're more intimidated by the bullies than they are of the father. The bullies will tear them up. And I say that to you. If you fear demons, if you fear the devil, if you fear witchcraft more than you fear God, they can come on you and overtake you because that's where your fear is. Hmm. Think about that. But if your fear is of God, not feeling threatened by God, but realizing his awesome power, Do you understand what I'm saying? Knowing his authority is above and beyond all else. Then nothing else can scare you as much as God. And knowing you have God on your side, guess what? Your faith is in the right place. Your fear is in the right place. And you will not fear what demons can do to you. You might be a little... You know, you might have a little trepidation, but your fear and awesome worship of God and recognition of his power and authority will make you act in faith based on your fear of God rather than your being intimidated by the enemy. Don't be intimidated. This is not the season. If you feel like you fear them more than you fear him, you better fast and pray for a while. Fast and pray. Get in God's word and learn of him. Learn of the authority you have over the works of darkness through the name and power of Jesus. The resurrection power. The authority God gave him. That's where your authority is. It's in the name of Jesus. So you have no need to fear darkness. Don't be afraid of what goes bump in the night. Don't be afraid of things that attack you at night. Oh, they may attack, but they can't prosper. Not if your faith is in the right place. Now, if you lay there and just let them, that's one thing. I can't say anything about that. I won't even deal with it because I don't want to be passing judgment. But I do say this. If your faith is in the right one, You can get rid of them every single time. They will turn tail with their tail tucked between their legs and they will scatter because the Bible says that devils believe and tremble. So if they're trembling, what does that say to you? It says that God is the one with the power, not them. I hope that encourages you to know where your faith should lie and your fear and reverence as well.